and welcome to my channel Fetish Matters. My name is Amalie von Stein and I'd like to welcome you to another Monday How To BDSM tutorial. Today I have another product of the Euphory store and it is a bondage play leash. This is what I found for you for this week's tutorial. If you are new to my channel, then please also check out my webpage. There may be some interesting things about me on it. And you can also follow me on my social media. And if you like to purchase some toys just like this one, then the link to the Euphory shop is down below in the box. Please use it and you will be directed to the online BDSM online shop. Now, this little toy actually caught my attention because as a professional dominatrix, I often go to various dungeons or events or parties and things like that. And I have and have had a lot of submissives and playmates I enjoy playing with, which do like to be led around. So being led on a leash is a very, is a very interesting game. And the submissive um, is being really, really put into his role yeah, as a sub or servant. So if you are into um, submissive and dominant games, then this toy may be quite interesting. I mean, you don't need to go into the public with this toy. You can just use it at home as well, if you wish. Um, I certainly do like it because it's not just a leash which I put around a collar yeah, or on a collar. Um, no, it actually comes with, the, with two nipple clamps, as you can see. So you can actually lead your partner around on his or her nipples, which makes the, the game of leading somebody around even more interesting because then you also add a little bit of um, pain to the whole situation. It always depends what game you like to play. But I like to, first of all, talk about the people who enjoy a little nipple pain. Um, a lot of people, they actually have very, very sensitive nipples and having their nipples stimulated gives them great joy and they get or can get quite horny if someone does it. So nipple claims don't have to be unpleasant. A lot of people are out there which actually do enjoy the sensation. Yeah. So if you have somebody, a playmate, who is into nipple play, then I can imagine that he or she would very much enjoy to have these nipple clamps on his or her nipples and being, you know, led around or played with with this little leash. Yeah. As I mentioned before, you can also use this at home. Yeah. You don't have to go uh, into the public with something like this to parties or whatever. I also like this toy because if you are the dominant and let's say you're standing or sitting somewhere, you have full control over your submissive while you have the end of the leash in your hand. So you will be able to pull him or her towards you and create those different feelings on their nipples. So this toy certainly has a lot of possibilities um, which, you can, which you can try if you or and your partner is into something like that. If you take your playmate out to a party, I would really recommend 
to not leave the nipple clamps on all the time like give them a break you don't want something to happen to your partner's nipples what i really like about this toy it actually comes with this little ring here i'm not sure if you can see that i'm sure you can i will zoom in a little later so what you could do you, at some stage you could just take off these nipple clamps and have a little hook with which you could attach the leash to your playmate's collar yeah so you actually are able to change the toy while you're somewhere from a nipple toy to just a normal leash yeah and you still have your submissive on the leash right there next to you where you want him or her to be so this is all about this very very interesting bondage play uh, leash which i found on the Euphorie shop. I wish you all a wonderful week and I'm very happy to see you again next Monday. Talk to you soon. Bye.